what's up guys thanks for watching this video and i hope that you are going to enjoy it uh, let me walk you into what i'm going to be doing in this video i got the new foxy elrs light receiver and i put it on my fox whoop and this video i'm trying to figure out if there is a difference as far as uh, performance goes between the light receiver and the nano receiver uh, the ep2 nano re receiver express lrs so uh, again, I'm just going to be comparing the link quality and the RSSR DBM value between the Foxy Lite and the EP2 or the Nano Receiver. But since this is a scientific test, we're going to need a control group. And for the control group, as any scientific test has to have a control group, we're going to be using this little guy. Uh, this is my Cinelog 3. And I actually have the Frisca receiver, the RXSR receiver on it. So all receiver, and this pretty much was the king of receiver before Crossfire and Express LRS. Uh, it is somewhere in there. It's kind of hard to see. It is actually a very small receiver also. And I got the two antenna coming out of the back. And this is going to be a control group. And let me show you what we're going to be using for the nano receiver. All right, so for the Nano 2 or the EP2 receiver, we're going to be using my Cineon 25. Uh, you can see the EP2 or Nano receiver, it's right there. And of course, guys, you may have seen there's a little trend about this video. And all the drone army testing, um, the receiver on, are all seen in whoop. Uh, in my opinion, I think those are pretty much the best option when it comes to receiver. When it comes to seeing in whoop, you can either go with uh, Express LRS, which is pretty much the best receiver at the moment or if you want you can actually try the uh, FreeSky RXSR receiver a very small receiver uh, I think those are pretty good for CineWoop so let's go and get this test started so I decided to change location which is for the test I'll be able to fly uh, slightly uh, longer distance than if I was just doing my neighborhood uh, we're starting with a control drone or control uh, receiver, which is the FreeSky RRX. I can't even remember. I put it on the screen. Using SCCST protocol. And one thing I didn't know is that RSSI DVM, RSSI DBM value does not work with the FreeSky. I'm going to try to pretty much fly the same path with all three drones. So we're going to have to rely on an RSSI. Uh, what I'm saying, RSSI is in the 50s. So you jump right back up, so it's going to be passing right in front of myself. 70s, 60s. Now I do have the Worksnell 1S on this little drone. So max power is 350 milliwatts. You can see that it is struggling a little bit. I'm about maybe 300 meters for myself. And I'm afraid as soon as I pass beyond this building, I may get some breakup. So if that happens, I'm just going to shoot up. But can I get an idea what... Here we go. We're getting some breakup, but let's see. I should be able to fly through it. So you kind of get an idea. RSSI in the 50s. But that's just a control test. Let's see how uh, far I can go over there. I'm literally on my side right here. Let me turn my head so we can get better reception on our VTX. I say in the 50s. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to come back. And we're going to give it a try with the Nano RX or the EP2 receiver, Express LRS, of course. All right, guys. now we're going to go with the Nano RX or the EP2. Now, I've tested this receiver for, I don't know how many tests I went on this receiver. So I know exactly what to expect out of it. Uh, I haven't taken this guy. I think I got a video where I took it more than a mile out. Now people usually say those receivers are good for smaller build. 
but I have them on a couple of my five inch build and I can tell you guys they work pretty good they have I haven't had any issue with them uh, they have a small uh, size factor so they're pretty small and they pretty much go on any build that you want to but one of the limitations about this guy is that I had a couple of builds where the smaller antenna window is pretty small was just a little too high uh, for the build but I just want to see how good the Foxy light receiver is going to do compared to these guys since they have a different antenna and so far you may have seen it my LQ is pretty much perfect my RSSI DBN value it's pretty good uh, 90s, 90, in the 90s now with express LRS you cannot get in trouble you may get in trouble if your RSSI DBM value get too low again some telemetry loss but that's just because I'm running at 250 hertz but overall LQ is still looking pretty good DBM value is looking okay as long as I don't get in like minus 110, that's usually when you may start thinking about having some trouble. But usually with DBM, DBM values, even though you get like in a 110, one, negative 110, negative 120, as long as your LQ still looking pretty good, you are fine. So I'll say LQ has, has been pretty stable and dbm value i put down the lowest it got but as i said i wasn't expecting any trouble with this uh little guy so let me land and we're gonna take a spin with the foxy light so about to start testing uh the foxy light i just want to make you aware of one thing is that i have the receiver berry in this build it is between the flag controller and the Cadex Vista. Uh, that's one of the main advantage of this receiver. It has it is pretty flat. It has a very very little height, so you can pretty much put it anywhere you want to on your build. Ah, right, so unfortunately there is a little bit of wind, and this little guy hates windy days. But let's see if we're gonna be able to get it flying and get some data for a little test so far i'll say lq is about the same than the nano 2 and dbm value is about the same i'm not seeing any drop we stay in the 90s let me go down a little bit more 80s negative 80s so say performance was so far is about the same not really sure what's going on with my vtx transmission i'm using cadex with the gago 2 and i got a feeling like i'm not getting the best performance I'm getting some jello on the video. I think that because I did swap camera on this, I'm using the Cadex Polo Nano. And I think my camera may be a little loose. But as far as performance goes, it seems to be pretty similar than the AP, EP2, even though uh, this guy has a smaller antenna. Uh, I said DBA value stay in a negative nannies, which is pretty much what I was getting with the AP2. Uh, link quality is perfect, no problem with that. Let me see if I can go this way here. Yeah, I'll say even though it is small size. As far as this little test goes, I mean, it, it is performing pretty fine. And, you know, if you're going to be using this guy on a Cine Whoop, like a small one like this uh, Fox Whoop, it's not like you're going to be doing long range with that. So as far as I park flying, yep, yeah, this little camera definitely does the job. This little 
receiver as a camera but now i said this little receiver definitely does the job not really sure what i'm getting i mean let me see if i can go beyond this building see if gonna you're gonna be stressing the system a little bit actually seem to be stressing my vtx more than the receiver the receiver actually is pretty fun no problem whatsoever so if you ever had any doubts about the foxy lights i know beta fpv uh, did a light receiver also with the flat antenna i remember there had some issue when the first release it i'm pretty sure that was like a couple months ago i'm pretty sure they may fix some of the issues they have but i have the foxy lights and as you may see as far as performance go for small drones in a whoop this is actually doing pretty good i'll tell you what i may do i may put it on my 1s long range drone and give it a go to see how far can it goes i know if the ep2 i went little longer than a mile before i just decided to turn it on because i was just like okay <clears throat> can i make the points but this little guy doing pretty good and that is pretty much it for this video guys i'll try not to make it too long i'm gonna go ahead and land and i will be seeing you on the next one thanks for watching guys and i hope that you enjoy it